Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Darth Love. Now, as I promised, we're on our way to do the caravan, Happy Trails Caravan quest line or the DLC for it, which is up in these hills. I believe it just says, find the caravan master? Where the hell is it? Uh, find the Happy Trails Caravan master. So he's supposed to be up in a cave somewhere over there. I don't need to have my gun out. Go away. Go away. Um, so just head up these hills. Get a nice view because it's daytime out of all these farms. There might be some fiends about. I have no idea because my perception has gone back to being absolute garbo. Which, I mean, it's not a huge issue. It just means they can get the drop on me and then I can kill them because they can't hurt me. <laughs> what is this? This is, a, this is a house. Is this house important? It's boarded up, so probably not an important house then. But it is right in front of the pathway that leads directly to the happy trails, people. So let's go ahead and say hi to them. I think there's a cave right up here. Grab some of that. Hey, hey oh, okay, guess I did grab it. Oh, there's a grave. Sad. So welcome to the Northern Passage. Let's see who we got here. What a nice conglomeration of people. You're a Baldi. Hey. hey, little lady. Don't be scared to join this caravan. I'll keep a close eye on you. Real close. Oh, 22. Promises. How, how did how are you in Vault 22? Uh, unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psychotic? Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. I sound pretty psycho. I'm gonna psycho you guys dash away. If you run down the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. Didn't have to. But uh, just talking hypno theoretically here. Hypno theoretically. <laughs> Leave. Uh, yeah, Lee, before the withdrawal hits you on the trail, no psycho for miles. No. Fine. You win, asshole. Bye-bye. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. I mean, you were already a dick. Also, Vault 22 is the plant vault. How did he have the, the thing? Hey, you have a grenade launcher. Guard, guard. Hey, Stella. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. I can. What are you doing? Earning my keep, Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The Good. work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Oh. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Mm. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Well, that's good. I was like growing up in New Reno. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Alright, well, at first it sounded like, hey, no egomaniac destroying people's lives. No Drug addiction. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor is off the charts. Non stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I'm okay. I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Yeah. Uh, tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. True. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. Yeah. If it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, it was someone Ooh. from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Think we meet the white legs. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Hopefully you don't have to shoot any of us. Uh, were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Oh, I'll give you that. A bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Uh. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, oh. there wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. God damn creepy. That sounds like a nightmare. If the nightmare. 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you, what do you know about the White Lakes? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. Yeah. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, yeah. absorbed oh. into the NCR. All right. Soon enough, the white legs were swarming all over mm. that stretch of I-15. 
Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Oh, they're scalping. Eventually, Yay. the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. I guess that does solve things. All right, good talking to you, Stella. You Thanks for the history. All right, Jed Masterson. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Not at all. Yeah, you look the type. Huh? Damn good thing you came along, too. We had another prospect with a pit boy, but he done skedaddled. Something must have spooked the boy. Me. Wait a minute. I recognize you. Yeah. You're Alice McLafferty's rising star. I'm also the one that's going to put them out of business. Sure you want to be here? And the well, one who wiped out. The non -competes are the, pretty rigid. The other ones. Um. I understand the caravan is headed for Zion. What can you tell me about the area? I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? No. <laughs> Get the history lesson first. Tell me about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. Yeah. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who's Joshua Graham? Why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Who the hell's the burn man? Tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the MCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but... Uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Okay. Uh, sounds like Happy Trails is in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Yeah. Uh, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway's Wordstrom? too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. I can fix that. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Mm. You tell me about New Canaan. Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They controlled the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyway. Yeah, that's a, that'll help. All right, do you know anything about the religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. That's really, they need to. But don't think that just because they're religious that they're pacifists. Ooh. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen too. Okay. Uh, you don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Hmm. So, a little bit of history. So Joshua Graham was the commander who was like the second in command of Caesar's Legion Army, and he was the one put in charge of taking Hoover Dam. They lost. So because they lost, Caesar covered Joshua Graham in pitch and threw him off a cliffside on fire. Now... The Burned Man is the tribals and slaves of Caesar's Legion swear that they've seen Joshua Graham alive, and they've called him the Burned Man because Joshua Graham is supposed to not be a name he's allowed to have anymore. Um, and, you know, he was he was burned, and they're tribals, and they're supposed to be savages, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that's just it. Like, they, they are convinced that he survived being lit on fire and thrown off of a cliff and is out for revenge, so they speak in hush whispers about the burned man coming to take Caesar down and get revenge for what happened to him. But that's just, that's madness. How the hell could someone survive that? Utter madness. Uh, that's one of the questions. Uh, Sion, what can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Hmm. We're, We're going to be inside. with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. Hello. 
That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the care of Oh yeah, that's right. I do have a helped with checking the map. topography, keeping us on the trail. Okay. Um, is there you to race the situation? Well, it ain't good. I tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. That's terrifying. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates yeah. that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the worst. Rough. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Hmm. Um, degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. Mm -hmm. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite Jeez. translator to talk to them. Rough. The ones you really got to watch out for are the white legs. From the We're going to meet the white legs. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Uh, tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy. Jacked up on kin, violent as hell, and not too bright. Fiends. The worst of the 80s. Mm -hmm. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Okay. Warlords? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station forced walls, thanks. Okay. I just want the questions. Should have figured you for a player. All right. Let's play. <sighs> In a bit. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm free of this hell. Oh, God. Okay, so that was victory 30. Turn the fan back off. Okay, so with that. Yeah, just shut up. For the love of God, I've had enough of hearing that line. Let's go to Zion. I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down. What? Survival, relax, I've humped this load across the Mojave on two feet alone, I can handle it. Strong back, no one can I carry my own gear, I can carry yours, pack rat. Don't worry about me, I'm using finding my other places. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons. Uh huh, uh huh. High rough pack. Yeah, that's a good. pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm right. drain. Don't skip. Right. Yeah, too much weight will kill you in the thin air. I got really antsy after the friggin' whatchamacallit. Anyway, um, yeah, Sean huh. I do believe you could. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a yep. good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. I mean, I Can did. We go back for it. Not at all. You sure you're ready now? Yes. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We've got a long road ahead of us. Hey, you got 175 caps. Great. So, once you go in there, there's no leaving until it's time. And, uh, yeah. Basically, you have to complete the primary missions before you can leave. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open. Okay. And listen to what old Oh, I think this is about to get the history lesson I was going to tell you about. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Okay. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries. As far as I know, they're actually very, like... We've seen our share of cults. Bible, but the new Canaanite, uh, biblical ones, they, they have, um, yeah, they, they like, full-on Catholic. They, they have a Bible of some kind. I honestly don't know but all that much. The Legion appeared in Arizona. Yeah. I reckon you know all about them. Yeah, I do. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the mal-paced legate, was a new Canaanite, yeah. Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanite wouldn't talk about it. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. I mean, they're like peaceful we religious folk and he's a murderer. legged finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Okay. Caesar had to make an example for the others to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way 
death. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the waste. Probably just a tribal ghost story. Probably. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace legate is dead. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Joshua Graham did crawl out of that cabin and finally found his way back home. Hey! When you remember Zion. Alright, so we made it to Zion. Alright, people. It's been a long couple of weeks. Yeah. But here we are. Zion. I know Beautiful. You're hey, got paid. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. So this is actually like a <laughs> uh, wildlife protection zone, if I remember correctly. There's a nice Ain't plane no in the the over there. There's a plane, radio tower. Uh, you the first time. And the too. <laughs> the new I wonder. I oh, can't. If they don't, we've got the maps on our friends Pip Boy over there. Who? Oh, me. Right. Get moving and keep an eye out for tribal. Alright, so I just want to see if it does. So because I got the Wastelander perk, I have all of the locations. Yeah. Oh. Glass Chime Cave. Stone Bones Cave. There's a lot of caves over here. Interesting. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. So yeah, we can't go back. That's basically what she just told us. There's no going back until we find the new Canaanites. Will show us the way. Yeah. Whoa! Nice shot. All right, where are they? Where? I think they already did. Nope. That one's already dead. Ah. Trying to do cluster shooting. So as it is, I'm already not that accurate. Okay, come on. Oh, you're healing. Don't like it when you heal. Storm Drummer. Interesting name. Oh, there's one left. Come on. There we go. Bada boom. Oh, shit. I, I thought I did good. Apparently I didn't do so good. Let's see what they got on them. So they have White Lakes Hide Armor. Rebar Clubs. I'm going to actually take that. Bush Gun. Who knows my funny use there. So, uh, it looks like everyone's dead. That's, uh, it's not great. Oh, at least I got another grenade launcher. I brought Thump Thump with me, because you never know. I'm, I'm like, get some use out of a special grenade launcher. Tomahawks. Fire Axe. Ooh. What's in here? Useless stuff. So I'm going to, of course, take all of it. Where's, oh, there's Jed. Where's the rest of my pay, Jed? Oh, he didn't have it on him. Well, I guess I'm the only survivor. Nothing enough to do, but go right on in. Oh, did I already loot Stella? I didn't. Ah, rest in peace, all y'all. I'm sorry that you all suck. I wasn't the guard. That was not my job. My job was mapper. And I got the map. Like, I, we found where we're supposed to go. Why did they have an anti-material rifle? Good lord. They should not have the top-of-the-line sniper rifles on them. That's just overkill. Some machine gun, some machine gun. All right, I'm going to do some quick inventory, and then we're going to cross the bridge. Yeah. All right. It's really pretty, though. Like, look at the... I missed. I missed again. Oh, maybe not. I think I missed that time at least. Sir, sir, wait. Wait. That's not an enemy. <laughs> sir, hold Boy, still. White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. I have nine points of luck. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized land. Oh, you can't see it. Wow. His name is Follows Joshua Chalk. Will want to hear about this. Do you know what? I'm just going to fix that problem right now. 
So I've been meaning to try this out. Where the hell did my mouse go? What do you guys think? Think here's good? I think that's the spot that doesn't hit any. So I'm going to try this for a bit. Because uh, then if I'm in this spot, I mean, I'm not in a corner. But uh, I want your guys' opinion. Would you prefer having me in a corner where I sometimes block parts of the HUD? Or would you prefer me here so that way I'm not blocking anything from the HUD? Because that's my hope, is that you can see as much as possible. And I keep forgetting I wanted to move myself, since I don't have a high-end computer enough to be able to move it during filming, except with the way we just did. Uh, I can't do it in post. Uh, what was I saying? Words. Point is, now you can see people's names. All right, so let's see what follows Shock is. Who's Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. How does a dead man lead your tribe? to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Yeah? Come, I can take you to him. Oh, okay, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Okay. Uh, the well-stacked Cairns perk. While Falls Traffic is in your party, reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as Ranger Stations, will reveal all nearby map markers and inspire a heightened sense of awareness plus your presence uh, perception for three minutes. I mean, I've already got all of the... It, it basically, if you get to the top of a hill, all of these would get marked the way they already are for me. So I already see everything, so that's pointless for me. Um... So that, that's unnecessary. And plus three to my perception. I already know my perception is not going to be used. So that doesn't bother me either. Yeah, so let's just walk through. Like, there's some nice tribal stuff here. I'd like to think that they did the whole um, people turning, going very native in a post-apocalypse society in an unoffensive way. But seeing as I have absolutely no native heritage in me, Hold up. I... See that log over there? Look, there might be some good stuff tucked in there. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, so I have no real idea. As far as I know, it's not offensive. I think they do it fairly well because like, it's not like they're actually taking heritage from real natives and like being putting it in an offensive way. They're just showing how, uh, after generations of losing history and forgetting what once was people would start to worship things that they had no understanding of. And, like, that's that would happen. Like, people would forget things so quickly, and they would find, like, no understanding of some of the old technology. Like, a lot of games touch on that really well. Oh, hey, yeah, guy. As far as I know, they don't attack me because I have Animal Friend. Of course, neither do the green geckos. Bye-bye, bear friend. Yeah. So Yaogwais are some kind of lucky. <laughs> are a common sight in Fallout 3 and 4. As far as I know, this is the only place you can find them in New Vegas, and I think that's why they put them here. But yeah, Yaogwai are bears. As far as I know, they're black bears that have mutated. And yeah, they're, they're just big, scary bears. You can Ooh. take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. Oh, well, thanks. What's this about? You tell, okay, well, let's talk to Follow's Chalk for a bit. Talk to... What can I tell you? Uh, tell me about any interesting wildlife. Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Okay. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately... Whew, oh. My guess is one of the calves oh, got yeah. lost That's somewhere the along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. That's fair. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. That'd be bad. Maybe I can help with that. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Hmm. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off, and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Okay. Um... I can. I need to defend myself when attacked. What would you suggest to do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These hmm. big horners go crazy for the stuff. Basically, just have it in your inventory when you find the calf, and the calf follows you. I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Cool. Oh, okay. Let's talk some more. What can I tell you? 
Let's see here. Big heart problem. Who are the tribes who attacked us? Do we have a just for them? I wonder what you. What can I tell you? I don't know. Uh, why are you called Follows Chuck? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Okay. Um, why are all those... What are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Oh. You have a lot of tattoos, buddy. Tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. Dead we horse. raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us dead back horse. into Zion, and dead we would horse. have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Okay, I don't know American geography. I don't know of any place called Dead Horse, though. That, that's something I didn't know. I didn't realize that they named it that because that's what it was called back before war. Uh, I might have to look into that. Uh, wait, what about Caesar? What, what did he say about Caesar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Caesar. Mm. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called NCR. Oh, NCR. <laughs> when he returned... He was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. I'm sorry, as I saw he him? He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. Okay. Uh, do you remember anything about Joshua from before he was a leader? Do you know about the new Canaanites? Should sell casings on your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua oh. Ram. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now... They are ours. Right, the handgun is their, they seem their that old thing. dangerous to me. But Joshua says they <laughs> won the West. Yeah. It's uh so the new Canaanites their specialty weapon was like a forty five caliber uh, handgun. Uh work for that thanks. No other questions, don't something else. Uh, I'm gonna go with something else. To ask away. That's good. Uh yeah, that's everything else we need there. Talk to you later. So, I believe we want to go this way. I'm going to take the main quest to its peak, and then I'll do all the side quests. Or maybe I'll just do it as they come up. We'll see. But for now, let's just go meet Joshua Graham, I guess. It's got to be like somebody pretending to be him, right? It can't be the real Joshua Graham. He's super dead. There's no way. Is that a path, or is that just a random hole? Oh, it's just a random hole. Yeah. Here I was thinking something important was in there, but I guess I was wrong. Well, this place is beautiful. Like, all the rocks. I, I would live here. Huh? What? what did, okay, I heard, like, nearly there. Oh, maybe that's all he said, was nearly there. Uh, we're also going to get some history lesson on the, like, there's like, three different tribes we meet in this. Yeah, look at that. Look at the markings on the rocks. So ranger station up there. Oh, enemies. Can't remember the ah swarps. <laughs> Go thump thump. What are you screaming about? Okay, there's more scorpions. Ah, there's one. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's an ant. I guess I don't miss twice. See the dead sentries. Shamans say our enemies' souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says the uh -oh. Shams were serious about fighting white knights. I mean, both of these things could be true. I do like the concept of uh, when you kill your enemy and put their head in a spike, it traps their soul there. Because that then sets... Not only does it... You're going the wrong way. Shut your hole. Uh, that sets the precedent for quite a lot of fear-mongering with that. Because if you believe that, eventually you can push your enemies to believe that, and then they'll be terrified of fighting you because it's like oh if we fight them and die and like we can't beat them we our soul is trapped here and we don't get to go into the afterlife and like that's a huge thing for a lot of uh religious beliefs and just historical so beliefs so just the thought the that there's no way you'll be able to pass on to the next life if these people beat you <laughs> is it's a horrifying thought for a lot of people 
and uh, yeah, so spreading that belief to your enemies is a really good way to stop fighting in general. And if they don't believe it, at least they'll know that you're going to mutilate their body, which is another thing to be afraid of. Is uh, how are you supposed to bring your body off to off to your uh, your family when you die? Or you can just not go to fucking war. That'd be a good idea. Ooh, park ranger hat. That'll probably be useless. Is there anything else up here? No? Okay. Green geckos. So I think these are just standard geckos, but they call them green geckos because they're different color. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the other. Your mouth is not moving. That's the other tribe. So the, the three tribes are the white legs. They're savage. As far as I know, they think they're working with Caesar in like a mutual agreement thing. And Caesar does not actually. I mean, we read the slave ledger where it's like, yeah, they work together with the white hairs. And then they disbanded them and wiped them out all the ones that didn't want to join as slaves. Um, so like that's, that's the future of the white legs unless we do something about it here, which we will have to. Um... And then there's the Dead Horses, which worship, basically worship Joshua Graham. And then the Soros, which as far as I know, they're just a really peaceful tribe that we haven't run into yet. Welcome, Center Booth. This place is taboo. They mark a lot of the old places, the, uh, the places from way back, as they call it, as taboo. And I think it honestly is just a, a lack of understanding. Um, because they consider all those from the old time to be like gods I think like they, have, they actually worship someone from that time and so they mark them as taboo because it's like these are religious areas so we can't go there because that is only where the gods may walk and stuff like that it's it's an interesting we were going to the dead horses camp. are we not? Did I, did I make a wrong I made a wrong turn wait this is the right way isn't it? nope that's completely the wrong way okay sorry you're right we are going to the dead horses camp that's this way um, which is an interesting concept, and it's definitely something that would happen uh, once you start losing your history. Because um, it would happen. Like, people would lose their history, they would forget what a lot of things mean, and then they just, everyone would turn into Ariel from Little Mermaid. What does this do, Dad? Paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua. Sounds an awful lot like Joshua's been making you guys go to war. I wonder what tribe that is that you guys beat. There's also loot here. Oh, I like the painted skull. Campfire. Yeah, okay, there's lots of things there. And you do. Okay. So. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Yeah, that's what I was about to mention. White legs out somehow. Yeah, they do a good job of it. So there's a bear trap. The shadow of a ghost. It made me move forward, fo further forward than I wanted to. Isn't there something here too? Oh, just a throwing spear. Okay. Thought there was like a trap wire hidden somewhere in there. I guess I was wrong. It's probably at the next one, isn't it? Nope. But there's a bear trap. Come on. Ah! Sorry, that. Gotta keep the white legs out somehow. Well, I'm just gonna get rid of those. Can I touch the fish? Touch the fishy. What if it was for me? There's another bear trap. Come on. <sighs> I don't like that it'll just click it once. It's like, got it, four steps forward. Like, no, 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 no. I clicked once, not four times. Once. I'm going to drown myself to get this bear trap. Presto. Okay, so yeah, there's more murals on the wall. It's really cool. And like his, his armor too. It's a really good way. Let me see lights on. Because it's got like he's wearing a hat that's clearly decorated in like Native American fashion, but it's also just a ball cap. And like that's a hunk of metal from God knows what. So much of this armor is very clearly really designed for taking modern day tech, some taking some of the old um, Native American tribal gear and whatnot, and then merging it together into its own thing. Fallen rock cave. Interesting. You know what? Let's explore the cave. Maybe we can head over to Joshua Graham. We're here. I'm not going to come back to it because I'm going to forget. So let's see what we got inside the cave. Ooh. A gut shot. We got a gut shot inside the cave. Howdy, shotgun. 
Can't, oh, there's double the gut shots. That's not what I clicked on. All right. Guess I'll keep my eye out for more of those. Poorly. I will keep my eye out poorly. Keep my eye out for more traps. Immediately steps on a landmine. Aha! Saw you that time. Okay. Where are you? Trappy. Trappy poos. Ho ho ho, you almost got me with that one. I saw the landmine next to the explosive barrel, but I didn't see the line. Come on. Oh, if that thing explodes. And there's the rig shotgun. So it would have been a giant explosion. Oh, just recharge a pistol. That I didn't feel like dealing with. It's down this way. That they set up that much explosives on. That's a camp. Yeah, another trap. I hate it. I hate when I click once and you go more. Th oh, it's a teddy bear. Hiding a landmine. Monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. I'm sorry. The the what now? The spitter plants and the green monster men. What are those? Y you want to elaborate on that one a bit? Cause that that sounds terrifying. Uh, spoiler alert, the creatures from Vault 22 are for some reason in Zion. That's what he's talking about. Which, I mean, we're, they, they're in, only in one spot, and we probably would have run into them, because if, if I remember correct, if I remember, if I remember, oh, I'm not making that shit my catchphrase. Uh, if I remember, they are in an area that we have to go to for main quests, so we would end up finding them eventually. But yeah, there's Vault 22. I think there is a terminal that tells us how they got here. How they ended up being in Zion for some reason. But, let's see what this one has to say. Ooh, year 2077. <clears throat> October 28th. Five days on foot, still can't sleep. Outside, like, nothing happened. Sky looks wrong, that's all. Hike back to overturn Na National Guard truck near Toker River. After blister heals, blisters heal, maybe. Oh, why does water keep giving me burps? I'm so sorry, guys. Um, looks like USGS team was researching something here in cave. Cleared out when Bob's fell. Left equipment behind. Probably thought they they had families run back to. October 29th. Char must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will make me uh, feel more like you were heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish Four. Took the 77 along Porvo Bay to steer clear of town. We've been home in an hour. Engine died. Truck just stopped. So did a. So did a chrysalis in another lane. Knew right away. First new kit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash behind me. So bright. World looked on fire. Old couple from the chrysalis starts screaming. They can't see. Didn't watch you die, Char. Saved my eyes. Counted twelve more flashes. Next seven minutes. Ground shook each time. Eighteen seconds later. When nothing hit for half an hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you were, and Alex died. Didn't kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw to the old couple. Sat them, up, sat them up against the car. Let them hold and comfort each other. Told them I was going to get help. Everything was okay. One bullet through both their heads. Instant. Five-day hike to Zion. You told me. Stop running off to the wild. Talk to the wild man. Belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were, you were right. You were right. Wasn't there to hold you, my boy. Died without me. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself. What I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger, Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back of the cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but can't look. Geiger goes lethal 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out, or I never leave this cave. Next year. January 1st. Happy New Year. Uh, two months in cave. Still lethal outside. Don't get it. In Army, they said two to four weeks. Cleared fallout. Less than a month's water left. Been mopping condensation off cave walls. Ringing shirt into bottles. Trading calories for H2O. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USGS. 
If there's even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside. January 10th. Sounded like a windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? January 15th. Took a peek. Snow. It glows green. January 28th. Radiation low enough. I can't risk short. I can could risk short exposure outside. More important, cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. Uh, January 30th. There's nothing alive out there. That's that's it. So January 30th is just nothing alive out there. So. I'm, if I, if I'm right, I'm fairly certain we find his bases at a lot of different caves because he survives here for many years, and I think he actually teaches a few of these tribe tribe people how to survive. I think it's like a bunch of kids, and he teaches them survival stuff, um, and they worship him. Like he is the reason that they consider some of the old stuff sacred is because of him. But I can't remember the full story on him and I think we just got the start of the story because if I'm fairly certain the bombs dropped in 2077 and that sounded like he was describing exactly how it started so yeah that's that's the start of basically the god of the tribals is that the way I came in? I think that's the way I came in yep yeah because I turned right that was that so what's this way? since we found the camp of the gods maybe we'll find another camp that he had in here or maybe some landmines. I'm not falling for that again, except when I do, because I'm going to, because I'm really bad at that. There's a perk you can get. Ho, 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 look at you. That makes it so you no longer activate traps. Problem is, you need like a seven in agility or something like that to make it happen. I don't, I don't have that. Eastern Virgin, where am I on the world map? Okay, so it spit me out way up there, I guess. Right? You know, let's find out. Whoa, it spits me out underwater. Uh, I don't like that. Light wasn't even on. What the hell is that about? Okay, so it just spits me out on the other side of the dead horses, uh, the dead horses camp. Interesting. So yeah, that is the start of his story. That's really all I can say on that matter. Is there a cave up there? Or is the angel cave that one? Hi! You, okay, cool. Stalker. She ran at me. Sounds like a pretty stalker thing to do. So, I, I guess I found dead. Really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper <sighs> on the table. Basically. And again, if you don't know the history of the how things came about, and you don't really... Like, You've been isolated for so long, you've lost everything that what the world used to be. That's exactly what it would look like to you. Come on, you're supposed to come running. Yeah, there he is. Two bears high-fiving. Just like I told you before, he is because of people thinking that that one atomic blast picture at the very beginning, it looks like two bears high-fiving. I still see two sumo wrestlers, but hey, that's just me. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. Am I looking for Joshua? Yes, I am. Can you tell me where he is? You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. I mean, it's fairly... Joshua in high place of favor. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. I mean, I can still to kill all of you. I'm sure to be on my best behavior. But I'm a paladin. You wise for Auslander. Okay. Uh, is there anything here I can take or that I'd want to steal. Doesn't look like it. Oh, jars. Yeah, no, I'm not going to steal from these people. There's no point. There's nothing to gain from the experience, so oh, yeah, you can pick the cave fungus, though. I'll just take that. It's, for, it's free. And cave fungus. So, let's meet a dead man. Hey, Joshua. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, yep. the white legs beat us to it. Mm -hmm. White legs seem to be the only visitors we have these he days. just does that constantly and I wouldn't have expected and it's actually kind of cool the Mojave to come looking for us and you're a courier no less not the one I was expecting but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan I'm I sorry, don't know who if you were expecting? close to the other members of your group but you have my sympathy I never met him I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion even Gentiles but we can't expect God to do all the 
what other courier? Caesar is dead. I saw to a person I thought you should know. I have to admit, it's hard to believe that even after all he did to me, all he tried to do was to find and erase me from this world. He went first. You're welcome. No doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer and the Legion falls apart around them. Yeah, that's fair, because they're going to go nuts. Um, if they won't, I'll make sure the Legion has very little to go home with. Hmm. Good. You're doing God's work, whether you believe it or not. Well, I wouldn't say I believe I'm doing God's work, but I do believe I'm doing good work. All right, yeah, he does that thing constantly. Oh, I can just steal them all if I want to. And, like, it's really cool animation, but once you see it enough times, it gets really... It's boring now, but it's still really well done. Uh, fine. I'll look into getting supplies for Daniel. Thank you. Follow Shop can help you find I didn't realize I'd refuse that. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war building. That is helpful. Okay. Welcome back. I don't know. Can I... Uh, you said, yeah, who were you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. I help with that. But maybe this one survived. Hmm. Pray, God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. Oh. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. Yeah, that sounds pretty That's Christian or Catholic. With others that work the tribe. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Good news, yeah, that sounds fairly, um, if you say so. Whether there is a God or not, his existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. I agree. There is much to be skeptical of in this mm -hmm. world. So it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. Yeah. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh as Jesus Christ and died to redeem me. And you. And the sorrow. Even the white legs. Everyone. Okay. Uh, nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns. Storm, Storm drums. drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Okay. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden mm -hmm. war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. Oh, good. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. See? Told you. Uh, do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief of the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. He's another new Canaanite. Uh, what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, let's say four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Lake. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the oh, narrow, yeah. the sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. Like, why, what's the Canaanites. fourth one? Well, technically, yes, they are there. Uh, why do the White Lakes attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Lake, especially caravans. What caravan? Hmm. They don't know how to survive a Oh. Life, so they have to raid. Okay, that makes sense. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion. And they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites yeah. and everyone we shelter. That's a lot of people. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Yeah. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and the language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago. 
but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variation. And that's just it. That's a thing that would happen. Like dialects and different languages would merge together like that because you just it would just become second nature. And that's how accents come around too. It's stuff like that. Uh, does this valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God. <laughs> but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point of the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Okay. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I look much different then. But I left yeah. an impression on them. Follows Chalk told us. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Hmm. Uh, why haven't seen any sorrows? We're gonna have to meet them. There's no point. Are the new canyons really a tribe? Let's talk about something else. Of course. Uh, is there something to say? Any repairs? Can I ask you some personal questions? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Okay. Good talking to you, Joshua. Ooh, right. I forgot I leveled up. What to do? And there we go. Okay, so there's skills. Is there anything new for level 28? All right, so just uh, rad absorption. With the rad absorbed perk, your radiation level slowly decreases on its own over time. That would be handy. But I also, ooh, I got new chemist now. So I can make uh, new coal at any workbench. If I have the right ingredients, maybe. But I think what I really want is long haul. Because that really helps if you set up a base operation so you don't have to keep selling and stuff. Anything here? Oh, I can grab. Oh. <laughs> I just finished my sentence while trying to say something else. Is there anything else here I can grab? And it was, oh, I can grab. Is there anything? Oh, this is another exit. I wonder where that goes. Well, uh, take the. Oh, that's not Sandaru. I thought he was about to shoot me. Alright, follow this chalk. Let's go out this exit and see what we can find. Flowers, cave fungus, more ba banana yucca, detra root. Right, so I'm just going to pick everything I can, just for the sake of picking everything I can. I don't think there's a lot of loot up here. Is this going to be like an overview of, yeah, overview of the main camp? Maybe not. Is an overview somewhere near the main camp? Is this the entrance? Where the fuck am I? Okay, yeah, this is the entrance. Cool. So I gotta go to the crash school bus. So as far as I know, it gave me like five quests. Find out at the cliffs. Still in the dark, got something else. So I gotta find five little scout lunch boxes, uh, walkie-talkies, and surf the rooms for a compass. Alright, well that one seems to be the closest. Why don't you know what? I can't I can't say that. Let's see if roadside attraction is the closest. <laughs> that one's a good distance away. Tourist trap. Even further. Alright, and this one. Oh. Let's go do that, because I think that's the helping out the big horner find his way home. Oh. Nice. Ooh, discover all six of the survivalists. The survivalist. That's the guy who's in the cave. He's known as the survivalist here. Alright. So we're gonna go back up to the entrance of the cave and try and find our way up to the baby big horner so we can lead it back to its family. So I think that is what that quest was. So, just a moment, and I will figure out where I have to go. The way I heard it, salt upon wound butchered everyone in New Canaan. And made oh. the corpses to the cliffs. Okay, so salt upon wounds is the leader of the White Legs. And I kind of figured that it, like, the, the opening thing made it seem to imply that Joshua Graham is like, ah, shit, Caesar's Legion burned and killed me. So I'm going to go take my, my hatred out on my old family, and it's like, that doesn't seem right. It seems like he would go to them for help, not vengeance that they didn't earn. Um, but the white legs killing them all and nailing their corpses seems a little... Well, I mean, them killing them all seems about right. Ooh. Don't kill any of the mountain big horrors. That's not going to be a problem. So I guess I have to go in the... Is this a cave? It looks like a cave. This is not a cave. This is just a rock wall. I'm good at finding caves. Alright, so I gotta find the big horner baby somewhere up here. And I have the optional to not kill any big horners, which isn't gonna be initial because I have Animal Friend. Um, the big difficulty, like, it's actually a fairly easy thing even without Animal Friend because they don't attack you unless you get too close to them. And, like, 
if you get close enough, they get really, really aggressive and angry. But if you have an animal friend, they don't give a shit. So, like, he's up there. In order to get away from him, you just hop around over here and move through as quickly as you can. But because I got animal friend, just look at him. I think he's bigger than the big hoarders we got back in the Mojave. Yeah, you're a big guy. You got some weird, bulgy eyes. Uh, and we come over here. We find the baby has fallen down somewhere. So I think is basically what happens. Not quite there. It's like up there. Yeah, so they're all over these cliffs. Because of course they are. They're big ass fucking mountain goats. Ooh, I wonder what's up this side. Jesus Christ, they thunder when they step too. Makes sense. They're fucking huge. And uh, yeah, it's another big thing in this DLC is mountain exploring and climbing and cave exploring which I'm going to try and explore every single cave because I want to get the full story on the survivor because he's the survivalist story he's uh, he's pretty cool he's got a pretty like I mean you saw how sad his life was and it's going to be a lot of parts I'm going to try and be put as much sadness in as I possibly can just so I can try and really get across exactly what he's feeling with what I'm, what I'm reading it I think I did okay in the first one I hope I do just as well on the rest of them I'm going the wrong way. Something about the arrow pointing me in the other direction makes me think this is nothing up here. Oh, look at your baby. Hello, little baby. Yeah. It's good to be doing some actual scouting, not just following. I mean, you, you're, you're following me. I guess, yeah. He's not following the chalk. He's following me. It is still different. We're just together. We're a scouting party. That, that's fair. I'm just going to try and disregard everything he just said. Feels good to be doing some scouting and not following. But you are following. You know, technically, we are supposed to be working as a team, just like uh, me and Boone. He was a spotter, I was the sniper. You know, he had the sniper rifle, and I had the fist. Watch, I think I had a club and machete mostly when I was with Boone. No, I was using a fist for a bit. Didn't I? Yeah, because I switched to the displacer glove after we killed Caesar. That's right. I remember what I accomplished. Um, I'm going to do my darndest to get as much of the DLC into this as possible. Uh, feed it via banana yucca. Perfect. Get the cat to follow you back to its mother. I'm working on it. Good, 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 good. Alright, so it will stop following randomly every now and then. Just gotta feed it more banana yucca. Which I got tons. Its mother is that way. I have to go across the bridges, don't I? Yep. Alright, let's cross this bridge. Come on, big guy. Mr. Cute, too. Does that mean you're done following? That's what that missile meant. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Here you go. Follow me. I don't know if it's time based or distance based. Hey. There we go. I guess I have to stay a certain distance away. Can't get too far ahead of him because he'll stop following. That makes some sense. It also means I can't, like, jump off a cliff for a shortcut because he won't follow it because you won't see me anymore. It's a convenient way to do it. Come on. You're, you're going the wrong way, buddy. I really hope it's not time-based if this is what's going to happen. There we go. Come on. Good. Damn it. Alright. Have some more. Let's go. Hey, come on. There you go. Took him a second to realize I fed him, I guess. Good boy. Just gotta listen for the clump, the clump, the clump. I guess that's its mother. Maybe. There can't really be a place. Yes, we've already talked about this. Big buildings. Oh, People. maybe not. Return the calf. Why would I keep so the calf? Their money just to watch someone put paper Get the calf to follow you back to its mother. Bam! Speak to follow Chuck. Hey, go ahead, follow Chuck. What can I tell you? What? Oh, I returned the calf to its mother and it didn't even kill any of the big corners. Ooh, glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Everything's already marked. Sweet. So, uh, oh, hey, he gave me a war club. Nice. So, next we're going to go roadside attraction because it was the closest. It's right over there. Let's go to the welcome booth. Because fast traveling helps speed everything up. Okay. Oh, 
don't know if there's enemies. What the f Oh, it's just a blowfly. I, I overshot the blowfly. I overshot the blowfly. All right, all right. Oh, come on. Screw it. Doing this the hard way. Wasting thump thump. I'm actually gonna repair thump thump. No, maybe not. I wanna use... That's overkill. This it is. And there's some ants. Dead ant. Oops. There's another ant somewhere. Fairly close, if I can see it on my radar. Is it behind this rock? Aha! Done. Okay. It sounded like I got an achievement, not just like gain experience. So, bus is down. Oh, that's actually not as far as I thought. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like I have to find my way around, but no. So, crash scout bus. This is. This is why your own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Okay. So, I need five lunch boxes. I don't know if this is where I was supposed to get those, but. Oh, this is supposed to find the the um, the compass. Dang it! So this place is filled with child-sized corpses. Uh, yeah, there they are. This this was the scouts. They were on a field trip, and uh, I mean, it's not super surprising. We knew it was happening. We knew it was coming. Uh, repair the compass. <sighs> like there's there's gonna be a lot of really sad, depressing death areas. So is gone fishing? Yeah, gone fishing is definitely the next closest one. So we just gotta go up the water. So let's head up this lake. There's an enemy. Mr. Oh, it's a scorpion. It's a dead scorpion. Oh, more scorpions. Hey, get back here, you sneaky little shit. Wait, why is it green? Oh, because it's dead and it lost to a gecko. Good gecko. Wow, that is a really good gecko. Killed a couple of good things for me. I think I didn't want to climb this cliff, since I did just say we just have to follow the river. And then I went and not follow the river. That's not what I want to do. I just walked through a rock. I don't think the rock appreciated me being inside of it. I know I didn't appreciate it. So, back in the water. There are white plague hit squads that are just everywhere here. I don't know. Okay. Thought I heard bear noises and I got scared. Oh, white legs. Lightbringer. Come on. There we go. We just reloaded each other for a bit. Is there more dying going on? Did you just kill something? Okay. What's a lightbringer got? Just the, the same. Oh, firebomb. So that's what makes him a lightbringer. Ah, oh, damn it. The fuck is the creepy laughter? <sighs> firebomb for a grenade. Oh, firebomb. It's a Molotov cocktail. That makes perfect sense. Let's continue on towards Gone Fishing. Ooh, a campground. I wonder if there's anything cool in here. Oh, there's some doggies. Nice. And white legs. Folks could make camp wherever they please. Yeah. Oh, and there's, of course, there's Cazadors. I forgot about the Cazadors. Come on. Stop surviving, damn you. What? Oh yeah, they do have shish kebabs. Nice. Did did you just get your ass kicked by a no, sorry, did you just kick the ass of a Cazador? I'm not seeing any signs of Cazador around here. Huh. Alright, I guess they, they beat it? Or just ran away? I don't know. Something happened. Almost an ammo though. 
I'm going to loot this campground. Just a moment. Okay, so there wasn't really anything of use inside the campground. Not super shocked. Oh, Dead Scorpion. Good job, geckos. I think the green geckos are, like, hardier than the standard geckos. Which, I mean, they're living in this area instead of... I guess the Mojave's just as screwy. I think this is the way I want. I'm going to put my gun away, though. So I move a little bit faster. At least it sounds like I move a little bit faster. Do I want to go this way? Look at my map. Yes, I want to follow the path. I can follow the river, or I can follow this path. And this path will get me some more locations marked. That's really what I want. Is that a location right there? The area. I think that's further up, so I'm actually going to not go to that one. Look at this one. Oh. Following the path. Do, do, do. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off the path I go. Oh, it's a gecko. <gasps> it's a little baby gecko. He's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. I just heard little grunting noises. I didn't expect to see one little. Oh god, he's so tiny. <gasps> it's a little baby rat. Hello, little rat. <laughs> I love the rats. They're so freaking cute. I mean, most of the animals in this game are freaking cute. The sun sentinels. What the fuck is a sun sentinel? I mean, so far, all I see is rats. Sun Sentinel something. Oh, see, another rat. What the fuck is it? The rocks? Are the rocks the Sun Sentinels? That compass thing always knows where north is, huh? Even <laughs> if it can't see the stars? It relies on something else for that. Hi, dead hose. Goods to you, too. Okay. So... Hello, this building. What is this building? Oh, this is the building I'm looking for. Sweet. It's iron fishing spot. So I guess the sun sentinels are up on top of there. Fishing lodge. Is there anything outside before I go in? Pile of garbage. Yeah, it looks like it's all just garbage. All garbo. Inside I go. <gasps> He's full of geckos. Cute little bastards. What the fuck am I looking for in here anyway? Oh, something in here. Open average lock. <laughs> oh, it's walkie talkies. Got it. Take that too. Keep the whiskey. Bam. Oh, completed five quests. Nice. And got gone fishing. Excellent. So next, I need to get the five lunch boxes. For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought the places of the old world were taboo. Hmm. Doesn't look so spooky to me. That'll happen. Uh, so all that I have left to grab is over there. So we're heading that way then. Uh, that way. I think getting up there requires me to take a very this path, roundabout path. You know, what? let's climb this fucking mountain. Let's see what's at the top. Or not? Maybe this isn't a path. No, this looks like a path. This is a path. I'm also going to do something reckless. There we go. Because it's bothering me. Oh, God! Okay, so yeah. No, not friendly with... Yeah, bye. I was incorrect. Animal friend does not make Yaogwai like you. Which, I mean, I, apparently i got to kill ten Yaogwai in the Zion anyway to get it, some sort of perk. So there we go. I get to kill Yaogwai. Which are just, they're just big bears. I'm going to go ahead and reload. So I'm headed towards the Sun Sentinels. There we are. Sun Sentinel. What the fuck is a Sun Sentinel? Oh, there's another bear. Why do you sound like you're getting hurt every time you shoot your gun? Uh, follows Chalk. That's kind of disconcerting. Kind of really disconcerting. So, this is the Sun Sentinels. I guess it's just the rocks, the trees. You have a beautiful view of everywhere, though. I really like high places. You know, the sea everywhere is really good. So, we want to go that way. I'm going completely the wrong direction. What's the next nearest marker? Wherever that is. North Fork Campground. Right there. Let's go to North Fork. Might as well hit every possible location along the way as we can. Makes it easier when we have to come back out here to grab other stuff for them. Which we will. 
doing a DLC, which means there's going to be lots of fetch quests. Oh, jeez. Looks like the North Fork campground has seen better days. Much, much better days. Or is this not the North Fork campground? Okay. Whatever this is has seen better days. Where's the North Fork campground? It's further this way. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I guess it's seen... Probably seen worse days. Especially over the past few years. What are you charging at? Okay. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. And I don't care enough to find out. I'm much more interested in what he's fighting. Sir? So I finally... Finally explode the type of place without the other scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. Rebar club. <laughs> I think he hit himself in the head with that after he died. Why is the white legs more brawl attacks me? Oh, then I am. Time to switch it up. Compliance regulator. What the fuck is that? Let's use that for a bit. That sounds terrifying. I don't remember getting this weapon. Critical strike causes paralysis. What the fuck? What is this gun? Looks to be like a late yeah, it's loaded like a laser pistol. So this is a cool laser pistol, I guess. Well, I don't know where the dog went, but it's not on my radar anymore, so I'm gonna assume it died. <sighs> I guess we're gonna use a compliance regulator. Which paralyzes people on crits. I think that bridge is a marker. Yeah, so we're gonna cross that bridge and we're gonna hit the glory cave. Ooh, we get to explore another cave, guys! Ow. Are you excited? I'm excited. So, right, there we go. North K, North Fork, North Fork Bridge. Words are hard. I hear doggies. Me no see doggies. Whatever. So the cave should be, the Morning Glory Cave should be right there. Oh, is it up on the cliff? Okay, let's find a way up that damn cliff. I want it in that cave. See at the top of that cliff. Unless something cool happens. Oh, there's another location along the way. Morning Glory Campgrounds? No, Partisans Campground. Interesting. Yeah, so that's definitely the way up the cave, is to hit this campground and go up there. So I'm going to do that, because I want to see what's in the... Ooh! And there's that downed airplane we saw. That's neat. Okay. So, campground. Bam. Something moved. Partisans campground. More dead people. Yeah. I mean, we already know that everyone died. But actually seeing the results of everyone being dead is kind of a little bit more... A little bit more than anticipated. I don't know the word I'm looking for here. There's an enemy. It's a bear. Regulate your compliance. <laughs> I guess I got a crit. I hope the bear liked it. This thing does not do a lot of damage. But it works eventually. And I would think it was far enough away that Follows Chalk didn't even go after it. So, Cave Path is where? I want up there. Does that work? That might work. Let's try this. That looks like the right path. Or at least a usable path. For the shot. There's an enemy. There can't really be a yes, it follows chalk. We went through this. There is. Low damage is fine when you stun them on crits. And with a high luck, you get lots of crits. Okay, good job, follows chalk. I'm still reloading. Oh, apparently I'm done reloading. <laughs> Didn't mean to accidentally shoot him there. Oh my god. I'd like to loot now. Thank you. Whatever. So, Morning Glory Cave. Aha! Enter the cave of Morning Glory. So this is probably going to be full of bears. And not like cuddly rats and geckos and other such creatures. Or it's going to be full of nothing. Oh. Am I hidden? No, it just doesn't know I'm here. 
Okay, I'm done using this gun. This is a depressing. What else we got? Sure. Let's see if I can hit it. Have a Molotov. I hit it that time, I think. I don't know. I don't think I hit it. Screw it. I'm going to use explosives. Might as well use the good ones. You don't look dead. Kind of look angry. Gotcha. Come on. Oh, he died before the bomb went off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, no, it's still there. I thought I saw it bounce back towards me and I got really scared. So I didn't feel like seeing myself die in slow motion. So, uh, the, the Venus flytraps are here, which is strange. Like, why, why would they be here? Ooh, that's a, that's a camp up there. Oh, for the love of... That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I don't think I got that much air with the second one. Let me, let me out of this. Let me out of this, you piece of shit. I hate you. I need to heal. <laughs> I need to run. I need to heal. I think the other one's almost right on the ground. Okay, maybe I just didn't throw it. Really not enjoying that kill cam. I'm fairly certain I can turn it off. But at the same time, I like that it adds a little extra drama. <laughs> I hate experiencing the drama, but I feel like it really helps for you guys. To see me get angry at it, maybe. This is a trap. Oh, it's already been activated. Cool. Dead bullshit. I'm not crouched. This is just a really high table. Bear trap. Bad or boy. No. Okay. What the fuck is with the launching? I don't like launching. Okay, so there was. Yes. Yes, there is. I get it. It's really, really confusing how stupid we are. I got it. You gotta, you gotta stop bringing it up, man. I did it. I played ten games, each and every one of them. It was so much fun. I'd do it again. No, I wouldn't. Uh, shit's too clever for my taste. I don't know where you get set off from. Okay. But I don't need you shooting me. Come on. Thank you. Where is it? Oh, there's another one right there. And that's it. I guess that's it. Okay, so he actually has like a base base here, not just a little small thing that he rigged together from what was already there. Like this seems actually built up to be defensible. Bear traps. Don't like walking into bear traps. Alright. Should be safe now, right? Should be any more traps directly inside of the survivalist camp. Logically speaking. Electronics, scrap metal. Aha! So this is uh, survival cache. Bam. Number three of six. So three more of those to find. Ooh, ammo. And time for some more history. Oh wow, we've jumped ahead 30 years. 2108, August 22nd. Ten sets of tracks half a mile northeast of Canyon Entrance. Barefoot. Saw them through scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia maybe? Uh, next day. I'm not crazy. They're real. God damn it, they're real. Uh, rushed me the moment they saw me. Snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but they don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing doing for them what I never could for myself. La the last of them, all gone. Oh, ghouls. He ran into ghouls. Every fifth, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. Happy 60th birthday? Man, when do you get a man who has everything? Bottle of whiskey, 12-gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Ooh, come now. Uh, come now, what do I have to do to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? Uh, I'm a shriveled old man. White beard, see enough sunrises and sunsets. 
Saw the big sunset. Been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. It's ridiculous. I'm not kidding myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex, Sylvie, Michael, the who, who could have been. Thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. February 6th. Fucking didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. They're still like, ten years later. April 25th. 24 of them. Half boys, half girls. Youngest is eight, maybe? Oldest, 13, 14. Dirty and scrawny. Been on foot a long time. Children's Crusade. Uh, stuck uh, struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos. 30 years and a half a lifetime ago. Spent two nights listening to them English. Listening to them. English. Literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escaped from a place called, that they call the school, but I can't figure out where it was. When they want a little, uh, when they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will get you. If the principal better not show up, I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can sh still shoot straight. And that was the start of some of the tribals. It was those kids he found in 2123. So this is like, 40 years after the bombs dropped there he is meeting people for the first time well maybe not the first time because he did say they probably, they made camp at the same place as the Los Mexicanos and I feel like that means there's a gap in there that we're missing there's probably we're going to learn about another group of people that stopped by so we'll, we'll find those too we just got to find the caves but let's leave the Morning Glory Cave and head on up to what the hell was the name of this the quest I'm doing now? Uh, tourist Trap. Yeah, let's head on up to Tourist Trap. I don't like that it's the same one every time. I know why they, it's the same one like every time. They have like a bunch of different generated uh, art for the cave walls and they try and reuse as much of them as they can in such a way that it looks like they're spread out evenly. Which, I get it. They would do the same thing all over the place. That's true. But it wouldn't be identical. There would be minute differences between each one because they can't. No, no human hand is that precise, and that's my only issue with it. Oh boy, hi mantises. Oh no, 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 no! Shit, can't run. Oh hi, have a friend. Nope, didn't go far enough. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Oh god. I tried to chuck it in there and close the door. I did not close the door. Nor did I chuck it in there. Yeah, you, you do that, buddy. I just destroyed one of the taboo places. Zion Mantis. So it's like a normal Mantis, only much bigger. I can't lose theirs either. Damn it. What? Do, why do I remember being able to do that? Oh, that's the lunchbox I need. I'm going to dump the rest of them, then. Alright, that should help things along. So, let's find... Damn it. Let's find some more stuff. Ooh, there we go. Found the Zion Snow Globe. Snow Globe is... Oh, yeah, it automatically gets added, and I automatically get paid. So that way they don't have to... I don't have to go over there and give it to Mr. House's sex slave automatically... Uh, on my own. It's just a bit... Why didn't... Click! Why does that keep happening? Why do I keep getting thrown in a direction and I'm not clicking it? Jeez. That is a glitch that is going to drive me batty and get me killed. I mean, it's already gotten me wounded several times with landmines. Where the fuck are they? Oh, they're all marked. I'm trying to find lunch boxes and they're literally on my radar. Aren't they? Ooh. Ooh. Terminal. Types. Oh. Trees. Yay. Come on. What do we got? Huh? Oh, what do we got? Shipping error. Hi, Manny. This is Horace Applebaum out of the Zion General Store. I placed an order three weeks ago for the Deluxe Mountain Man all-in-one survival kits. You know, the ones that come in with a compass and a pair of walkie-talkies and a full first aid kit. I'm writing to you because as of today, uh, that date, I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of the kits here, and with the summer tourist season picking up, I really need the new ones ASAP. Thank you, Horace. Bus tour. Dear Scout Matcher Mitchum, thanks for following up. You'll be happy to know that the little scout lunchboxes you ordered have arrived. You can pick them up from the general store when you arrive in Zion. 
The general store is open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. till nightfall. We look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. All the best, Horace Applebaum. Shipping problems again. Mandy, who the hell is running this shipping company? I just received three crates of dinky dinosaurs, trademarked, officially licensed dino action dolls. These things are supposed to go to some tourist trap in Nevada. How the hell did they get here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if you file off the dinky trademark, we can turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks, but I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on in your shipping department, take care of it, or I'll find somebody else to handle my orders. I swear to God. Yours, Horace. P.S. I still didn't receive that order of survival gear I requested last month. Do you know things I could actually sell to people? Ah. Okay. Well, I guess that's where I'm supposed to find out that uh, he doesn't have the walkie-talkies and compass, but they already solved that issue. So it makes it really confusing that they... Like, if they sent me here to find out why I didn't to find everything and then found out that it wasn't there, that would make more sense, but breaking up in three quests makes it not really make a lot of thematic sense. Ha <laughs> ha! need one more. Two more. One more. Two more. Ah, the compass isn't really clear. I didn't like it the way it was twitching, follows Chuck. I didn't do it. Where the hell is the other lunchbox? Oh, there it is. There. Is it leading? Yeah, okay, so it is pointing to the exit. See, I thought so. And now I just have to go to Daniel? I haven't lost... Oh, damn it. I missed. Oh, so it looks like I pissed something off. What else I got? You know what? Let's play with this. Aw, Daniel. I want to try out my new toy. Fine, I guess I'll try it on something else. Found to be something here to shoot at. Oh. What's up there? There it is. Gotcha. I missed. How did I miss? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there's no way in fuck. You glitched. There we go. Those first two hit it dead on, I swear. I swear it did. I got gypped. That's... I shouldn't say that. So, little history. Apparently, the word gypped is actually hateful slang against gypsies. Oh my god, fall as chalk, I will shoot you with this missile launcher. So, technically, every time you say... Well, not technically. Every time you say, I got gypped, you're saying you got gypsied. Because it used to be that the, the gypsies were cheaters and they would cheat you out of a deal and whatnot. And like that was the big hate against them. And that's why technically you shouldn't use the word gypped. But I mean, as far as I know, gypsy tribes aren't really all that upset about it. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if I just crippled another leg, but... Oh. Maybe I should take the eye for an eye perk if I'm going to keep crippling myself. I got a doctor's bag. Uh, that wasn't a doctor's bag. That was dog meat. That's that's not what I wanted to eat. Cool. Alright, so what the hell am I looking for here? Ooh, bobby pins. I'll take that. Is there anything of use in this place other than... Ooh, maybe. No. I was hoping for Sunset Sarsaparilla, not ammo. Fuck. Fine, I guess I'll make use of ammo. Cowboy hat. None of the terminals are functioning. I don't even get lore... God, this place is the worst. I want to go home. Jeez. All right, I'm, I'm done being whiny. What we got in here? Nah. All right, so we got ammo. Black coffee. I think that's a thing I can make in the... the crafted a fireplace because of this DLC. Hey! Contaminated medical supply kit. All right, so if I have a medicine of 30, I can just fix it. I can replace the mecha components if I have the, the proper pieces, or I can sterilize it with any alcohol. But I have the medicine skill. This is why being skilled is very important, children. It's also why it's like my number one goal at all times to have as much skill points as possible. Wait, so if I'm just done now, what is he gonna give me another quest automatically? Looks like it might have. Ah, yeah, deliver deliverer of Soros. 
Which, where is he? Yeah, he's up in the cave area. So we're going to hit Ranger Station Osprey first. Yeah, it's just right there. And so we're going to go from Osprey down towards the, the Soros. We're going to give everything over to Daniel. I'm going to make sure... I, he's really bothering me. I'm not centered. Come on. Where am I? Magic. There we go. It's a little bit more centered now. It was it was bothering the hell out of me. Hey, a little gecko. Well, I guess he's probably not a little gecko, but he is a little gecko. He's so cute. He's a little buddy. I just want to pet him. Look at his face. He looks like he likes getting like the, the, the brow. Pet. I just I believe that. Anyway, that's so what's in here. Ooh, a hard lock. Probably something good. Tell me something good. No, that's bad. Come on. I said no. Come. There. See? See how easy that is? Just do what you're fucking told. Okay, no. Oh. Oh. Huh. Eh. Nah. Ooh. Probably that's useful. That's really all I have use of here. Alright, fine. Is there anything in the tower that's useful? Anything at all? I mean, there's food. Oh. I was really hoping it was a survivalist bag, not just a duffel bag. I don't feel like going through all that. I'll go through it when I have to adjust my inventory again, which is in 50 pounds. Alright, well, I guess that's that. I really like that these are called Ranger Station. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. Um, because the Ranger Stations in New Vegas are completely different. Not, well, I guess not completely different. They're fairly similar things. But these Ranger Stations aren't NCR Rangers. They're Park Ranger Stations. But they're still basically the same thing. It really shows... Um, it really helps explain why the NCR calls them ranger stations. I think it's probably just because they are the rangers. Like it might, it might be their way of saying like this is where they got. We came up with the name. You know, they're park rangers. They're the NCR rangers. I don't know. There's a lot of history for the word rangers and a lot of different things with that understanding. So I think that location is just that hill there, right? Yeah, Caterpillar Mount. I don't know why it has that name. Ow. I actually hurt myself there. It's not nice. I don't like getting hurt. Let's climb the caterpillar mount. Come on. There we go. Boom. Caterpillar mount. Oh, that's why. Because it's just the caterpillars. Nah. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. So, the Soros camp is a little bit more difficult to get through. Because there are so many caves. And there's like four layers of shit. Because you have to climb around the mountains and there's so many different entrances and exits and so many caves and each cave links with a different cave sometimes and other caves own. <sighs> Let's have fun at the, the Soros camp. Hollow log. Oh, just drink your water. I'm good. I don't need to, to drink any of the disgusting groundwater. I'm okay. Yeah, see? Immediately access to the second level. Stay on the bottom floor for now and see what we can get out of that. Ah, I believe you're about to replace Follows Chalk, right? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the Cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Father in the Cave. That's it. That's what they call the survivalist. Uh, where can I get that bear glove? A Soros Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. I can do that. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Okay. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Hopefully. Uh, so what's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Mm. Midwife to Sorrows? That's, that's fair. I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated uh, from the camp. Makes sense. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. That'd be bad. Uh, what do you, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. Okay, so tribe. she's she's like a doctor. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay, so you're like a shaman. Cool. Uh, talk about something else. Um, give me some info on Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, oh. the English from the holy books. The English, interesting. Holy books? Yes. The, the father in the caves brought it to them Sorry, after guys. the judgment. 
But the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true time. Huh? You know what I'm Six on? years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. So he Daniel nearly died. Got it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. That's good. After the birth. I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Okay, so that's why you're showing it. Nice. Let's talk about something else. Uh, tell me about your tribe. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. Um, we have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. Yeah. At least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs. Yeah. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the White Legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Okay. Uh, what do you know about Salt Upon Wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. Yeah. The warriors he has slain, countless. There's going to be one last soon. Uh, who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. So... He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Because of the traps? Doesn't sound like what I heard about the new Canaanites. So basically, they mistakenly believe that the survivalist who lives in the caves lived in the caves. Um is the same as what the new Canaanites worship because they're it's basically a belief of hey you worship a god we worship a guy who we kind of think is god they must be the same person but in this case it's very very distinctly different because their god is actually a real person that they've hero worshipped a little too much sound different perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites I have seen the big white beard Yep. Yeah. his holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it they dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. Nope. That's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. Yeah. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know for now, I guess. Then I will look forward. Okay. Good talking to you. Waking Cloud. She's going to be a companion soon. After I talk to Daniel, she'll just run up and be like, I am to travel with you now. Ah, you got a 45. Nice. Okay. So she uses the gauntlet, which is what I'm used to traveling with as people with fist weapons. Hence Veronica. Probably... I don't know who I'm going to grab when I go back. Because I'm not going to do the next DLC right after this one, because I'm going to try and fit... That's really broken. That rock is see-through with the water on it. That's not a reflection. That is behind the rock. Anyway, I'm not going to do the next DLC right after this one because I'm going to try and get as much, if not all, if possible, of this DLC, including every bit of exploration and like cool stuff in it, into one episode, if possible. So this is going to be a really long episode. And I want to like give you guys a break. And then we're going to do some quick stuff in the next, epi next few episodes, get some more companions, like that. I'm assuming you're Daniel, since you're not all tribal. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. Hmm. Hence the name they Sorrows. They sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. <sighs> In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Okay. Uh, you told me you need a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Yeah. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. Yeah. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. Or, uh, no offense. I don't even know what that means. These supplies are a godsend. Okay. If we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention... I need you to go back into the valley. Yeah, I know. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for White Legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase. 
a wilderness area to the east. Okay. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Probably not. Hey! Restore our fortune, fortunes? Fortunates. I don't know what the hell that says. Fortunes? Yeah, fortunes. Achievement. Uh, I can do the help. Help, I can do a little bit. Get me out of here, sure. Yeah, okay. Anything to help, I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Nah, I don't Since have kin. poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the white legs. Ah! One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. Okay, I think she ups After my this, stealth. It's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Hopefully. Uh, Danny's given to bring more mining explosives and special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but can be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary in your exploration. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Okay. Are you sure? You've been a useful companion so far. You're, you're sure you've been useful. Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. In my regards to Joshua, then. I will. Good gun and Akis. Okay. Oh, give me some ammo. Nice. Yeah. Ah, okay. So what to do? Alright. That should do it. So that is that level. <clears throat> Before I do too much exploring through this area, I'm going to go ahead and get my inventory fixed up again. So, don't need any of that stuff. Let's go explore some caves. First cave that we can get to is right there, and I think there's another one right over there. So, White Bird's Cave. This is where we're going to start the killing uh, Yao Guai, I guess. There's also another one of my favorite Wild Wasteland moments coming up. Hola, outsider. Welcome, Child <coughs> of Omen. You come to receive visions of truth? Uh, uh, I don't know what visions of truth means. Take drugs, kill a bear, seek medicine plant. Return with sacred Datura root. Oh, damn Receive it. visions of truth. They guide you. I had three of them, too. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll just go then. Go. I just got done dropping. Like, probably more than three of those. <laughs> Alright, just a second. I'll be right back to Wild the uh, White Bird. I'm gonna go through this pile of shit I dropped here. Sacred. There we go. I got nine of them. I only need three, but I guess I'll take nine to them. Uh, actually, if I go to him with that, it's going to make me immediately be high, and then I have to go do that quest. Fuck it, let's do Rite of Passage. Get ourselves a nice Yagua yeah, Goblin. Alright, I got drugs. Let's do some fucking drugs. Let's do some motherfucking drugs. Is there, do you have it? Oh no, let's just say under it. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. You have root of sacred. I do. I have sacred right here. These roots make sacred vision deep. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? That's a lot of me. Let's do it. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. Not bad at all. See? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Okay. Ooh, I'm really fucking high. Achieve the paw from ghost of she. Yeah, so this doesn't wear off until you finish killing off Ghost of She. So I'm just going to go do that. It's actually a lot less disorienting than I remember. I remember it being much more fuck with you to your vision. Right now it's just making everything a little bit hazy and brighter. Which I guess could be like what it could be similar to what it's like to be on drugs. Not that I would know at all. I've never done the the, the drugs. One drugs, please. Hey, Waking Cloud. I'm high as fuck right now. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scout. You're really yellow. Is this pleasing to you? What? Yeah, man. Certainly. We should make haste then. Okay. Okay, what you give me? It's giving you the quiet as the waters. When Waking Cloud is in your party, it's much easier to sneak by the white legs. Their perception is easier. So it doesn't even make me better at sneaking. She makes it so everyone around us is worse at seeing us? What the fuck does she do? Just exude some air of drugs? Oh, now Joshua's gonna run and talk to me too. 
Guys, I'm high as balls right now. And didn't dead didn't follow his chalk run to speak with you? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Uh huh. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Okay. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it even to the foundation." Okay. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded. Thou hast served us. Happy shall he be. All right, bro. I get. You've got your religion against the stove, but I'm not gonna follow it. Know what it means. I don't care. You don't want to leave Zion, rather kill every last one of the white legs. Are you mad about something? Yeah, you want to kill the white legs. I got those two choices. Yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just end in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing. But when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Crusades, jihadists, every other fucking unnecessary murder. There's probably thousands of serial killers that all agree with this prospect. Post-apocalypse world, it seems a little bit more logical, but honestly, it's not. <laughs> I'm doing the Lord's work. No, you're just fucking murdering people you disagree with. That's all it is. Don't blame someone else for you wanting to kill people. Own that shit. I think these people deserve to die because I disagree with what they're doing. There you go. It doesn't make it a good choice, but that's still the fucking truth. No one else didn't fucking tell you to do it. God damn. Happy dashing the what? Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to Uh huh. No dashing little when ones. Our Lord We're not killing children. He found it polluted by money changers and beasts. Did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? Probably should have. No. He drove them. <sighs> it is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires. No. It demands. I don't know if you figured this out yet, but I don't believe what you believe. Then as a Gentile, you should find this to be even more beneficial. If the sorrows stay in Zion, you will always have a link to New Canaan. It's all about the their survival. I don't give a shit about having a link so to New Canaan. Be the New Canaanites. What's more, you'll have more white legs coming farther south. You may not be concerned over matters of faith, but this is a case where faith and practicality coincide. No one wants the white legs here. We just need to convince Daniel that it's our responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen. As much as I bitch about his beliefs, and about him using God as an excuse and a crutch to murder people, I agree with what he's saying. Evacuation won't save the sorrows. Okay. Like, it won't stop them. They're they're psychotic. They don't listen. They think everyone should die. That's what they're doing. And, like, I don't want to wipe them out. Like, I just want to do a show of force, you know? Show them, like, hey, we're powerful. We're scary. You should stop trying to do what you're trying to do. You'll lose. And then maybe, hey, they'll back off. Maybe. Wiping out the children? No, that's too far. You gotta... You gotta, like... You gotta teach them. That what the, oh, good, I do have it set up. Uh, and let them know that... Why what's happening is happening. You don't kill them. Sure, they may want revenge, but you just gotta, like, treat them as family. Let them know that they are not the sins of their fathers. Oh, it's big horners. All right, this is a bad idea. Oh, shit. Don't throw that, don't throw that, don't throw, oh no. Oh no. Move, you bitch. Thank God for long fuse. There's an achieve a challenge for beating Kazadors with these things, with long fuse dynamite, because they move really fast and it takes forever to go off. That did nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't have anything else to use against them either. I got fire bombs. 
A fire axe. Oh, I don't need fire bombs. There's a fire. Come here. Yeah, kill the dog. Oh, it's a giant Cazador. That's terrifying. I don't even know if landmines will work. Why are you running from me? Or are you running from the dog? It ran away. Hey. Well, I guess I scared it off. That's not Thump Thump. Where's Thump Thump? Thump Thump always one shot. Okay. Why am I using Thump Thump? Is it better? Damage of 84. Grenade launcher. It's not. 36. DPS 84. For fuck's sake, stop changing right when I switch. 65. Okay. Yes, Thump Thump is stronger. Ah, you brought a friend. I don't like the friend. I set up my landmines. I don't think the Kazar likes getting shot with grenades. Hey! You didn't have to kill the dog. Bro, I'm high as balls right now. Sorry. Okay, well this is doing very little. Oh, let's do some healing. Yeah, let's do some poison resistance. And also... Anti-venom. Oh, I have so, 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 Perfect. Please stop shooting at me. You're really wasting your energy here. As I said, show a force. Just let them know that if they continue to fight us, they will lose almost all of their people. Or they, they have the chance of losing all of their people. And I have a feeling that's not something they want. They don't... No matter how warlike a tribe may be, Nobody wants to lead their people into utter genocide. All you have to do is convince them that that's what's happening. That there's no... This is a no-win scenario. Which, that's the real difficult... Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. They did a lot of damage. Okay. It's time to play mean, then. He's hitting hard. Let's try out the fire axe. I got this off one of your buddies. What the fuck was he wielding? Okay. Oh, great. I'm still high as balls. I have to sift through those conversations again. Crap. No more playing around with these bastards, though. Apparently, they want to play to win. I'll play to win. <sighs> See you back at where I died. Just a moment. All right, this is basically where I died. There's Kazgaros up there, I think. Oh, maybe they just didn't spawn this time. There's white legs that came at me over here, but there's also a farmland uh, park right here. Yeah, campground. That's the word I was looking for. Man, I am high as balls, and it makes turning real bad. There's the Kazis. This time, you're getting fucking punched. I don't take kindly to dying. It really doesn't sit well with me. Fairly certain landmines don't do shit to Kazdors, because why would they? Come here. Come here. That's right. Fucking die. Jeez, but you are huge. He's a cute mole head. You didn't get to die this time. Thank God. Because that giant thing would have come down. It would have fucked you up. I should I used that too early. There's more Kazdors to deal with. Oh, shit. This is also isn't the entrance up there. Oh, They killed a big horner. I shall cherish its meat, or whatever the thing you're supposed to do is. I shall use its meat as a way of mourning its loss. There's a, there's something in there that makes sense in some way. I don't know what I'm trying to say, just the words don't exist. Not at all. I think this is the way to go. Uh, I don't remember I have to fight them. I don't remember having to fight them on my way to the Ghost of She. Maybe I went too far. Well, uh, this is the Vault 22 escapee camp. Which, yeah, see? Green monsters. Oh, there's a kid. Rough. And these ones are much more aggressive than the ones in Vault 22 itself. Which, I mean, the fact that they bum rush me right out the gate kind of gives that away. So just kill off some spore plants. Ah, good. There's a way for me to punch you. 
No, I guess they can't turn around. Yeah, see, they can turn around. Just really badly, I guess. There we are. Are you a giant one? Yeah, giant sword mine. Nice. Fabulous bag? Oh, no, just a normal duffel bag. I'm still high as balls. Isn't there supposed to be a note somewhere in here? I have vault 22 jumpsuits. Just to make it clear that these guys actually came from that vault. Ah, Vengeful Spirit stock these canyons. Ooh. That sounds neat. Another jumpsuit. I'm gonna read that. I am still high as balls, though. This is getting kind of annoying. Vengeful spirit dogs, excuse. Okay, is that the only note? I don't know where you were. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you, walking cloud. Ah, here we go. Do you have nope, nothing. Spore carrier sap. That's a new item. Are you saying a prayer to the when you kill? I mean, yeah, they don't they he did say they didn't like killing. And that's... Well, you know, we'll get to it when it gets brought up, but first... Oh, yeah, we need to keep all the sunflower. Where was that overseer password for? Yeah, we already read all those. Okay. If you're reading this message, then do yourself a favor. Turn and run straight out of this canyon. For near 11 months, my people have been engaged in a daily battle with an evil spirit of this place. Oh. That's weird. Um... With an evil, a daily battle with an evil spirit of this place. Arriving February of last year with a party of 118 strong, we were attacked by primitives and forced to defend ourselves. Whereupon something began killing us in wide numbers. We have done our absolute best to find and kill this thing, thinking it was a man because it uses our firearms against us and traps of all kinds, but no man could defy our efforts as this thing has. It is more evil than any man could be. We have, we have been reduced to thir just 34 of our number. We have lost six overseers before me. Some have perished from sickness in their lungs we carry to the vault. But that number is small next to the count of friends. This thing is murdered. Now that I'm finally made overseer, we are leaving straight away and will not return. If you have come to this seeming paradise seeking the fresh water, abundant game, and shelter you suppose you will find here, do not be deceived. You will find only death here. Leave at once and put miles between you and this place. May God have mercy on us all. J. Hendricks, Overseer of Vault 22 Expedition. So, they were in Vault 22 when everything went to shit, clearly, because they had the infection. Ooh, do I have... Ooh, maybe. Um, which, uh, like, obviously it didn't go well for them, because, you know, why would it? So, that got them killed, because some of them turned into the green things, they had the spore plants, because they brought the... their uh, game protector things with them. I can't remember what the hell they... Not game protector. Plant protectors. Yeah, okay, so I wasn't going the right, back, the right way. Just the way the ghost end. Uh, but yeah, they they survived. Just long enough to spread their shit. Damn it. Okay, waking... Wake, walking cloud? Or waking cloud? I'm, I'm sorry. That's fine. Neither can they. Oh, shit. Why is it still attacking your corpse? Didn't you already fall unconscious like twice now? Hey, animal control. Nice. That was rank two. I'm assuming it just means I do more damage to animals now. Yay. Uh, yeah. Sorry, waking cloud. I I fight with explosives now. Explosives are cool. Sorry about that. Try and. Yeah, that's that's true. You are immortal. And I'm very thankful for that, because I'm probably going to end up killing you again in the next battle. So, this is the ghost of She's Lair. I was never brave enough to try to find it. Well, apparently I'm going to be. So, yeah, there's the drugs. Okay. What is... Oh, right, I can't leave. Gotcha. Because I have to fight Flaming Bear. This is a hard fight. I'm going to do this hard fight. Mono a mono. What the fuck? I don't like this. I don't like this. Messy business. I am glad it's over. I got her paw. See? Ripped her paw off. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I'm still on drugs, though. There's also a lot of bodies here. I mean, a lot of bodies. Brahmin. I think those are tons of human skulls. Wait. Well, let's head back to Whitebird's Cave. That was... Did I not discover? I, 
Oh, there it is. Perfect. White Bird's Cave. And turn that into him. So that way I can get myself a Ghost of She's Paw. I think it's I think it's just called a Yalgoy Goblin. I think it is Ghost of She's Goblin. We'll see. Hi. Does Ghost of She like quiet in grave? Yes. It's done. Then visions of truth okay. are at an end. Will you learn from truth? I have no idea. Maybe yes. She's embrace. No. Only for you to decide. Okay. Here, take. Gift to remind you of vision. Use well. Or sell to cure your trader. Either way, it says much about you. I'm definitely not going to sell it. I don't know if I'll use it, though. How strong is it? Uh, she's embrace. Where? There it is. She's embrace. So it does 60 DPS, 37 damage, Ballistic Fist. Yeah, Ballistic Fist is better. Let's see how this thing looks. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just a giant-ass paw that I can punch people with. Which, I mean, she's got one too. But I'm good. I got my Thump Thump. I like my Thump Thump. Okay, I'm going to go find some more caves to explore. Since there's a shit ton in this area. There's one right there, so let's hit that one next. See if there's any survivalist shit in the Crossroads Cave. Is there anything in here? That looks an awful lot like his traps. There's probably a tripwire in there that I can't see. Oh, I guess it was just a bear cave. Alright. Whoa, whoa! This is not good. This is not where you're supposed to be. I don't like that they're behind. Sorry, Walking Cloud. Apparently they're literally right next to the main camp. Oh, that's probably why the barricade's up. They probably put that up to keep these guys out. Let me keep your rebar club. Ah, water. That'll come in handy. But they're all dead now. Which means we don't have to worry about them attacking anymore, right? Oh, speaking of dead people. These people had wine, food, lunchbox, sugar bombs, 9mm and 10mm pistols. And they drank all their Nuka-Cola. Oh, they still have pork and beans to eat, though. You know, they really didn't clear a lot of their food supply for being completely dead. Which means they probably didn't die of starvation. Just something to think about. I like thinking about how people died when I find the corpses. Some of them, not so much. Like the... Like the crash scout bus full of dead children. I know how they all died. I don't want to think about it. Because I get that it's a video game. I get that it happened 200 years ago. For the game's history timeline, anyway. Father, mm -hmm. I ask that you guide this woman who is the vessel of your will. Show her the light of your wisdom and the peace of your love. Okay. Amen. But it's still a bus full of dead children. And that's that's not something I want to think about. Even if it is virtual, it's still something that in this light this world happened. Those poor kids had no fucking idea what was going on, and then they went off a cliff, and probably all of them died. So I talk about it anyway. Did I find a different cave? Or is this just the other... Yeah, I guess it's just the other end of Crossroad Cave. But on a much happier note. Let's go find... Yeah, so we have the Sto Sweet Flower Cave to find. The Glass Chime Cave. The Stone Bones Cave. And the Half Mouse Cave. So let's see... Oh, I think there's one right there. Or that's just another rock wall. Is it a cave? It's a cave! Glass Chime! Is this one full of survivalist stuff? Oh, campfire set. Wow. There's a lot in there. Um, I've now been conditioned to assume there are traps in the bramble. Which is probably for the best. It'll keep me a little bit safer in this world. Especially oh, come on. Hit him. Hit him again. Thank you. Does he have backup? Yep. Yeah, you take that one. Or I'll take that one. I think these guys are weaker. Oh, maybe I won't take that one. Eh. How about that? 
Does that, does that work for healing? Seems to work just fine. You're still alive. Despite the fact that I shot you fairly close to point blank. Come on down the hill. Come on. Good boy. Courier? Why did it pop up with the name Courier under her name? Yeah, I'll stop shooting you now. Don't worry. I'm sorry about that. I need to heal myself, though. No, I don't. My health's fine. That's not what I need to do. I need to um, deal with my inventory being over full again. Alright, that'll do for now. Let's see. Ah, Mantis, Mantis Gauntlet. So that's kind of like the... Um, crap, what was it called? It's like the Mantis Lord Gauntlet or something? The one you could buy at the... Uh, Mick and, uh, Mick and Ralph's, that was it, Mick and Ralph's, has the the super awesome Mantis Gauntlet. And this is where the standard Mantis Gauntlets are located. Um, let's see here. doesn't look like there's a whole lot of loot in this camp. I swear, if they don't actually have any caves with survivalist stuff in it, outside there, fuck, wait, there's no exit. Where the, f how the fuck did they get in here? Are they just in here to start with? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, yeah, well, I guess they were. Whatever. That aside, if they don't have anything to do with the survivalist in the caves around their fucking home when they worship this guy, something is wrong. Oh, what can I do with the campfire? Oh, I can do stuff. Yes, I can do that. Alright, nothing of interest. Nothing more of interest. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're done with the glass chime cave. Came from that way. Can't go any further that way. Huh. Okay. Um. Is there something this way? Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. hmm. I guess we go down. Ooh, I'm alive. Uh huh. Okay, so there's Daniel there. I'm actually going to talk to Daniel. Because Joshua Graham wants me to convince Daniel that we need you to wipe out the white legs, and I want, at least in this episode, for you to I'm see why to see he disagrees. How can I help you? <sighs> why are you so eager to activate? Uh, you don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes, if you want peace, get ready for war. Mm -hmm. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp, but it's only to protect the sorrows. Mm -hmm. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. All right, but I think we should kill all the white legs. You're free to hold that opinion. But you're not responsible for this people. If I have to kill to prevent their blood from being spilled, so be it. Only leads the use of violence only leads to more violence. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Try walking alongside a tribal child. A refugee, and holding her hand for three days because her parents were killed by NCR prospectors. After the prospectors have stalked the remainder of the tribe, they fire off a few shots to scare them. And the tribe bunches together for safety. A grenade comes rolling and uh. kills another six people. The only reason you survive is because someone else's body absorbed the shrapnel. You're left sprawled out on the ground with ringing in your ears and a little girl's hand in your hand because that's all that's left of you. After you've done that, if you can look me in the eye and tell me it's better to stand aside, maybe then I'll listen to you. What did I do? Apparently I took a screenshot. Oh god, I was trying to clean dust off my keyboard. Oh. But yeah, that that's fair. And I'm not trying to tell him to not fight. I want to... Uh, what do you know about the Father in the Caves? Father in the... Oh. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. Yeah. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Or combine them. I don't want to have to chat with them. They think your lore and the father are the same. Oh? Ah. Oh. <sighs> of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. Yep. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. Yeah. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Exactly. Uh, what do you know with the White Legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. Mm -hmm. War is all he knows. 
Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a man. I'm a woman, so... Smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true. So what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Caesar's dead. Is there any other way I can help the Sorrows? What do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. I like Daniel, we he's a good guy. We Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. Okay. Uh, used to help the Sorrows. What, what do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. Right. The new Canaanites, I mean. Because the White Legs came the from the new Canaanites. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out yep. the New Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Is that another war with the White Type blood? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. Yeah. We lost the Tar Walkers. And the crazy horns. Interesting names. I like best, tar walkers. That's cool. Mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. And this is basically um, the Batman Joker conundrum, because Batman refuses to kill the Joker. He would save a lot more people if he did. If he just off the Joker. The Joker wouldn't cause any more shit. He wouldn't be able to do any more killing and do all the shit that, like, ruins so much. And people argue time and again. Just kill him. But once you do that, you can't come back from the crossing that line. And I don't know why he's not saying it, but in other times when you bring up the argument, he'll be talking about, like, I don't want to put the sorrows through that. Because the sorrows are peaceful. They mourn things. He, they're a very passionate, peaceful tribe. They don't like combat. If they don't retreat, He's afraid they're going to basically turn out like the White Legs. They're going to end up becoming warlike because it's like, oh, we got to stand our ground, we have to fight. So they'll, they'll wipe out the White Legs, and then, I don't know, let's, who wants a little bit more territory? Let's wipe out the next one. I mean, they, they were going to attack us anyway, and, you know, let's wipe out that one too. They're just there. And that's exactly how it starts, and that's exactly what he's afraid of. And then it's the same with Batman. Like, sure, he kills Joker. You know what? Riddler's been causing shit again. Shoot him in the head. You know what? That scarecrow cry, I really don't like that fear gas. Bang. He's dead too. And it just it keeps stockpiling until, oh hey, that guy's shoplifting. Let's just shoot him. It's like, no. <laughs> you gotta have a line. Batman put his line at no killing. He's put his line at not letting the sorrows become Joshua Graham. Uh, so what's your plan? <laughs> to remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not okay. into the grand staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. If we head there, we can find some safety. Okay. So about something else. Of course. Uh is there any other is there any other way I can help us or else? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, I but don't. we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley. Yep. And you might even find some on white legs you come across. Yep. There's a healing powder. I have some if you still want to. Sure, you can have <sighs> That's it. That's great news. Here's one. Thanks. Yeah. I don't like using the healing powder because it reduces my perception. And there's an upgraded healing powder you can get in the this DLC that uh, degrades your agility. Both of those sound bad for me. All right. Well, I tried talking him into it, and I I see both sides of this argument. Like, I see why you shouldn't do it. Why we shouldn't just say fuck it and wipe out the, uh, the White Legs. But at the same time, I also see that they won't fucking stop. They're crazy. They'll keep pushing and they'll keep trying until one side of this war is dead. And we don't want it to be the Soros. So I might as well make it the White Legs. But I also see how that would go badly. Oh, hey. This one's not full of White Legs. I, oh, I can open a sec. Okay. Thanks, guys. Sort of tribal. Yeah, so just a bunch of tribals up here. 
And yeah, so with that in mind, I don't know what I'm going to do at the end of this. Because you basically get to choose between one of those two options of either wiping them out or helping them retreat. And then whichever one you choose, you either travel with Daniel, if you're going to help them evacuate, or Joshua Graham, if you agree with him that the White Legs need to be wiped out. And then you do the end game with that one of them as your companion. And I just don't know. We'll have to wait until we get there. Uh, so my plan right now is to explore the remaining caves in this area. Someone, Jesus, it's way up there. Is there like a path? I think I have to go this way. Uh, explore the rest of the caves in this in the Soros campground and then go from there I'm just going to end the episode there because this this DLC can go on for a while and as much as I wanted to try and make it all one episode I don't think that's fair to anyone because I'm going to end up having to stop filming and then cut it into pieces so it's going to be like 8 hours worth of footage I'm going to have to try and stockpile I'm going to have to knock down into like nothing you're going to miss a lot and lose a lot of footage and I just I think it's maybe a better idea oh traps um it's probably just more fair to everybody including me to just do it in sections because I made up my mind that's what I'm going to do but I want to at least get these caves explored get some more history on the survivalist and then go from there and, with changing my method of doing it to this way instead, that also opens up the... Oh, I don't like that. Opens up the possibility of doing my other... My favorite DLC right after this one. I may not believe in what you believe, but man, does it always sound really pretty. I just don't like when people use it to be douchebags. I'm... I don't even know what my religious beliefs are. My religious beliefs are do what you want as long as it doesn't harm anyone else. Like as long as you're not screwing with anyone else's life, you can do just basically anything you want. Oh, I can't. Hmm. But at the same time, that's it's also not really great beliefs. But like, I just I think everyone should just leave each other alone. If someone asks for help, help them if you can. If they don't ask for help, I mean, maybe don't wait for them to ask. Sometimes they, ooh, Desert Ranger combat armor. That sounds sexy. Desert Ranger, nice. Then you're about to get more history. Um, but yeah, like, I don't have any religion that I follow because too many of them have crazy zealots or just have something in them that's like, I'm not interested. Ooh, okay, so this one is set before the ones we read before. So we got one and two of 2096. February. Fuckers killed all the men. I think they would have taken the women alive, but Maria and Selena opened fire, and some of the others went for their guns, so they shot them down. Some of the kids with them. I could have warned them. February 12th. Elena and Carmen and five children still alive, being kept in a pen. There are more than a hundred of these assholes in blue suits. Every suit says 22 on the back. Why? Armed to the teeth with submachine guns, pistols, estimated 6% male. Everyone seems to follow the dark-haired guy, but can't get close enough to tell. Assholes are disciplined. Patrols, sentry, they mean business. Say I go in at night, get the women and children out. Where to next? I have to get them out. I have to. February 13th. Recon during the night. Well-organized sentries along most approaches, but streams not covered. Are they sick? Lots of coughing fits. Tuberculosis? Women and children still in pen. We'll try to infiltrate by stream tomorrow night. February 14th, they ate them. Um, remember that note from Vault 22 talking about this guy being the devil? I don't feel bad for them anymore. Not at all. Ambush along Liverside Trail. Six males killed. Heard them coughing a mile away. Used their grenades to booby trap bodies. Kept kept half secured six SMGs 500 rounds 10 500 rounds 10 millimeter six frags February 20th ambush along Riverside Trail two males died checking bodies killed two more with rifle shot one through the calf let asshole crawl off to spread message coughed like I'd shot him through the lungs for 23rd ambush half mile east of coal pits wash eight males killed I Why did they attack the tribals? 
Why did they eat the women and children? Fuck's sakes. February 28th. Ambush in the Narrows. Eight males killed. Took a 10 millimeter through thigh. Uh, the steel jacket. Missed f- f- femoral artery. Buck lucky. Used tourniquet to make sure no blood splattered on rocks. Back to cave. So you have have set traps all along entrance passage, but if they find me, it'll be better at time. It'll be a matter of time. Still, 24 confirmed kills in 10 days. At least one-third of their combat force. Not bad for an old man. March 2nd. Lucky, 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 lucky. Patrol was small. Three men. Screaming woke me. Point man caught under dreadfall. Panic fire. Ricocheted into the cave. Almost hit me. Crawled forward and killed them all with SMGs. Nearly used frags. Stupid. Finger and pin when remembered ricochets. Leaving at once. No other patrols in area, but they'll be searching for searching narrows for these three. Taking as much food as I can, I dra- I can drag with me. I'm heading to the cave south. All right. So that's why he's not here, because the Vault Twenty Two people attacked him, and failed. It's just... They ate them. And I understand resorting to cannibalism. But Vault 22, this entire thing was an abundance of food. They had the ability to grow an abundance of fucking food. Why the fuck were they eating people? (sighs) I love post-apocalypse games. But it really helps fuel my pessimism. Alright, so there's one cave left. The Sweet Flower Cave. I'm hoping this leads straight through it. Straight to it. Ooh, I gotta check that armor. I wanna see if it's better than my... Combat armor. Damage that's old. Oh, it is! Nice! So now I have ranger armor, basically. Because this is what the really cool rangers wear. I don't like that I can't show the front. Hey, Thump Thump's got a beaver on it. That's fucking cool. Uh, So yeah, basically now I have ranger armor that doesn't mark me as being an NCR, which is fantastic. Because that means I can have some of the best armor in the game that's non-powered without being marked as any of the factions, because that'll cause problems with a lot of different people. I'm pretty sure if you show up in faction armor to Jacobstown, uh, some of them get really mad. Not to mention any number of other tribes that I actually have no issue, like Great Cons. The Great Cons do not like Caesar's Legion, not Caesar's Legion, uh, well they don't like Caesar's Legion either. Um, but they really don't like the NCR for obvious reasons. Bitter Springs is kind of something they have some issues getting over. Ha! That shouldn't have worked. Into the Sweet Flower Cave I go. Alright, what are we going to find in here? Survivalists. More rats. I, I saw the tent and worried I had white legs to deal with, but no, it looks like a mole rat. Food. Oh, somebody died in this tent. Yeah, it looks like whoever was camping here didn't, didn't last. Isn't he you? It's a baby. I hear another one. It sounds so fucking cute. Oh god, I love the animals. It makes it, it makes it a little bit easier to deal with. <laughs> deal with the shit of this world. All right. Oh, there's mommy. Listen to that yawn. Oh jeez, there's a lot of them in here. That probably means there's no traps though, because if there was, we'd probably see their corpses next to some landmines. I'm really glad we're not finding that. Ooh, cave keeps going. It's up here. Ah, uh, this is probably where those three people with Vault 22 died. Connected that connection, connecting cave there. Probably where we had the trap set up. Possibly, because there wasn't a, a rock fall where we came in. So clearly they died somewhere else. Okay, what do I, what do I know? So, that is all of the caves in the Narrows. Anything else? Let me look at the map for a second here. I'll decide what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So the the map quest for the Grand Staircase actually has us go to a place we've already been. It's the, uh, the Cave of Morning Glory. So I'm actually going to travel there now and just get the map. Then that part's done. Uh, just I might as well just do it in this episode because it's only going to take... You should not be here. This place... It belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it without touch. Why would you send me with a guide? Um, what are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. 
Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, mm -hmm. and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. Traps. Keep an eye for that. Bet it lot, looks a lot like a bear trap. Just a man who lived a long time. You speak as one who has not heard the tales. I've heard more than you have, apparently. Who has not seen the sacred images. If you knew, you I'm, would not mock. I'm not mocking. I oh fuck off. I don't care. But why would they send? Oh, I guess that's really my only option. Oh right, she volunteered. That's why. But she should have known that we'd have to come in here. I don't know. I thought she did. That's why she volunteered. As a guide to lead me to the cave or the freaking staircase. Oh, whatever. It's literally in this quest. Is ask her if she wants to, to talk to her about her joining the group. They're joining you. Where's the, the map? Is it in? Okay. Well, that wasn't in there last time I came through here. But whatever. I know, because it's the only thing in there for me looting the entire fucking bag. Whatever. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna grab as much as this as I can. Okay, fungus is really good. Because most foods, a lot of foods, when you eat them, they give you radiation. Um, there's a lot of fresh food in New Vegas that doesn't do that. I can't pick it up. But cave fungus, the glowing stuff, not only does it not give you radiation when you eat it, it actually reduces your radiation. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, well. Hi, bear. That's fine. I'm making terrible, terrible decisions. Bad bear. He's not dead. Oh, maybe he is. Ah, yep, I've seen those too. Oh, I got Yalgoy Hunter. I'm gonna go ahead and take a doctor's bag now. Uh, there it is. Heal up both my limbs. Okay, so the next quest I have to do. I got like three of them. Yeah, I got three. So river monsters, I have to deal with the Yagwai. I have to deal with them planting traps on a bridge. I haven't been to any of the locations for any of these yet. So I'm going to make this the end of this episode. This is about the halfway point of this DLC. So that's that should do it. Uh, the next half, I'm going to clear away most of the primary stuff, but I'm not going to do all of it. Because I want to get a lot of all the side stuff cleared up. I want to see every location. Because once we leave this DLC, we're not coming back. So I want to get everything done that I can in one go. So it might take up to three episodes to get everything finished. But but once it's done, it's done. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. We'll find out. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful night.